know you. They've never met you. They don't know where you live, where you work, who you share your life with. They don't know what you watch on TV, how many pets you have, what you do at the weekend, what team you support. But what they do know is that they are willing to fight for you, for you and for all of us. Because they have chosen to protect your way of life, no matter the cost. This year, we celebrate 300 years of a Deacon School, which is now the Thomas Deacon Academy. Along with Armistice Day, we will share some of the school's history, from 1914 to the present day. A hundred and six years ago today, the Battle of the Somme commenced. On the first day alone, it claimed the lives of nearly 20,000 men with a further 40,000 wounded. The Battle of the Somme would drag on until November of that year. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. In memory of Sidney James Randall, who served with Second Life Guards, died on 6th of November 1914, remembered with honour at Eaps Meningate Memorial. Albert Herbert of Northamptonshire Regiment died on 26th April 1915. His two brothers, Charles and Reginald, died serving two years later, remembered with honour at Rue Petalon Military Cemetery. Frederick Vernon Thomas Arvind of the 2nd Battalion Border Regiment who died on the 13th of November 1970 at the age of 23. Remembered with honour in Peterborough Old Broadway Cemetery. Robert Blakey North, who served in the Australian Infantry, AIF, who died on the 2nd of June, 1915, aged 20, son of Henry Atkinson Knowles and Ellen Knowles of 49, Lake in St. Peterborough, England, born at Morley, England, remembered with honour, Alexandria Military and War Memorial Cemetery. In memory of Corporal John Lockwood Armstrong, who served in the 7th Battalion Northamptonshire Regiment, who died on the 28th of October 1915, aged 26, remembered with honour at the Cologne Southern Cemetery. I've been fortunate enough to be part of the team that's working at the Deacon School, Thomas Deacon Academy, and I currently work at Thomas Deacon Education Trust. Edward Hinge, my great uncle, appears before you as part of a list of Deacon School boys who lost their lives in the Great War, the First World War. Edward, a Royal Engineer, arrived in Ypres, Belgium, 
in 1915 and was immediately transferred to the Royal Monmouthshire's. Only three days later, on the 1st of May, he was killed in action trying to secure Bill 60, aged only 24. May Edward and all of the brave people who lost their lives trying to secure our freedom rest in peace. In memory of Lance Corporal Albert Ernest Hickling, the King's Liverpool Regiment died on the 7th of August 1916, aged 38, remembered with honour, buried at Corby Communal, Communal Cemetery Extension. In memory of Private Ernest George Bradbury, who served on the 8th Battalion Royal Fusiliers, who died on the 12th of April 1917, aged 29. Remembered with honour, Arnas Ramon. memory of Lance Corporal Sidney Franklin, the 1st Battalion Bedfordshire Regiment, who died on the 30th of June 1917, age 23. I will be done, remembered with honour, at Albany Communal Cemetery. Charles James Tugard and Frederick George Tugard, both brothers, served in the Canadian Infantry. Charles died on the 11th of November in 1916, whilst Frederick died on the 15th of August in 1917. Both aged 29, remembered with honour at Vimy Memorial. In memory of Robert Douglas Goodfellow, served in the 7th Battalion of the East Yorkshire Regiment, who died on the 31st of March 1918, aged 21, remembered with honour at Boozing Rigid Cemetery, Albert. In memory of Captain Norman Allen, who served in war at Chen Regiment, who died on the 14th of April, aged 29, Remember with honour, Linville Community Cemetery Extension. Um, in memory of 2nd Lieutenant Albert Ernest Stock, served in the 18th Squadron of the Royal Air Force, who died on the 4th September 1918, aged 20. Remembered with honour at Chapel Corner Cemetery, Soshi Lestri. In memory of Second Lieutenant Edward Eno Crosby, 99th Squadron, Royal Air Force, who died on the 13th September 
1918, age 19, son of Ellen J. Crosby of 269 Cronwell Road, Peterborough, and the late R.M. Crosby, remembered with honour, Charms Military Cemetery, Essendi, IB 15. memory of pilot officer Ronald Henry Orton, who served in the Royal Air Force Volunteer Reserve, who died on 26th of June 1941, age 19, remembered with honour, Peterborough Eastfield Cemetery. In memory of Sergeant Ronald Beals, served with the Royal Air Force Volunteer Reserve, who died on the 8th of March, 1945, age 38. Remember with honor, Chiloy War Cemetery. In memory of Lieutenant K.E. Cracknell, served with Gordon Highlanders, who died on 14 April 1947, remembered with honour at Karchi War Cemetery. In memory of Flight Lieutenant Reginald William Gautry, who served in the Royal Air Force. He died on the 23rd of May 1941, age 27, remembered with honor at the Malta Memorial. We have Sergeant John Derrick Hall, served with the Royal Air Force Volunteer Reserve. He died on the 14th of February 1945, age 20. He dies so that those who loved him might live in peace. Remembered always, remembered with honour, Berlin War Cemetery. The poppy. Nature created a flower with petals of brilliant red. Who'd have thought such a beautiful flower would be used to remember the dead when all the guns have stopped firing and there's only mud and rain? God sent down his little red flowers to cover the lads who remain. So remember every November when we hold our remembrance day of the lads who lie neath the poppies and the price that they had to pay.
as you can see from the presentation, we have ex-cadets who are now in the public services and the armed services. So we'd like to take this moment for us to reflect for those people that lost their lives in the wars before and after World War II. This legacy is very important to us and we intend to carry it on. We will always remember them. Thank you. 
We gather here today not to glorify war, but to value the sacrifice of all those who have died in the world wars and other more recent conflicts on behalf of this country and to mark our continued freedom from tyranny. Let me take you back to where it all started for us here at TDA 300 years ago. Students and staff of TDA and across our TDET schools will recall from their most recent set of assemblies that it is 300 years ago that a school was set up for 20 disadvantaged boys by a wool merchant and landowner by the name of Thomas Deacon. It is his act of kindness, his compassion, that is the reason we are united here for this most important day. Today, we have over 2,400 students at our academy. We have over 5,000 students in our family of schools as the Thomas Deacon Educational Trust. The poppies you wear and the poppies that fall today are reminders of all that we owe to the sacrifice of courageous individuals. We are gathered here to remember especially those who are named on this Thomas Deacon Academy lectern. Those people who perished in the First World War and Second World War, some of whom were the same age as our current sixth form students. Boys who died in foreign fields far from home. So, as we reflect and celebrate our 300 year anniversary, we are importantly to remember the men from Peterborough who gave the ultimate sacrifice. So we have the life and freedom we have today. They shall grow not old, as we who are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them.
the imperishable memory of the following old Deconians who fell in the war. World War I. Norman Allen. William M. Olton. L. Jack Anker. John L. Armstrong. Francis S. Boyce. Ernest G. Bradbury. Percy A. Birch. Gordon D. Chisholm. Edward E. Crosby. Walter B. Elgar. R. Elsie. John G. Ellis. Horace R. Fitzjohn. Willie R. Fountain. Sydney Franklin. W. Franks. Robert D. Goodfellow. Herbert A. Hart. Frank S. Hendry. Albert Herbert. Edward Hinch. A. E. Hickling. Frederick V. H. Island. Robert B. Knowles. Edgar F. Law. George B. Mann. George F. Martin. Harry Nichols. John E. Peach. William W. Pond. Sidney J. Randall. Leslie A. Scruton. Victor B. Shepherd. William L. Slaughter. Victor S. Smith. E. Stock. Richard J. Stocks. Charles J. Tugard. Frederick G. Tugard. Frank Walshaw. Herbert E. Wire. World War II. R. Beals. L. W. Chapman. K. Collier. K. Cracknell. D. W. Greeley. F. J. S. Davis. W. F. Craycott. N. Fairbairn. C. Freeman. R. W. Gautry. P. N. Gent. J. D. Hall. N. V. Hart. N. Hickling. B. Hicks. B. Hudson. N. R. Lambrick. G. Meadows. J. A. Norris. R. Orton. A. J. Peel. G. R. Rowlands. C. A. Souter. W. A. Sharp. R. D. Spicer. R. W. Stedman. R. Swallow. E. L. Taylor. P. H. Thimbleby. D. J. Irwin. R. S. W. Bushett. L. A. Walker. E. E. Johnson. All right, stand up! The serving soldier, the poppies that grew, the soldiers that flew, fighting a war, marching through the muddy floor, we will remember them. Sadness, fear, and all that pain, the constant sound of gunshot rain, loud bangs as they sleep. All the memories they will keep, we will remember them. The soldiers guard, they fight so hard. Uniforms heavy, worn and split. As the bombs come down and lit. Remember those who fought, remember those who died. We will remember them.
Pulling the colors. Thank you. That concludes it. That is the end. Thank you very much. Get up to fall out and make your way outside. Let's go.